Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Let's sing the hello song. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome to the library. Today we are learning all about robots and I have the perfect book to talk about robots. This book is called Interstellar Cinderella and I'm reading it on my phone using Hoopla. Hoopla is one of two awesome apps we have where you can get books right on your phone like this one and you can read picture books, audio books. It's a great way to connect with the books you love without even having to walk out your front door. Interstellar Cinderella by Deborah Underwood, illustrated by Meg Hunt. Once on a planetoid, amid her tools and sprockets, a girl named Cinderella dreamed of flying fancy rockets. Do you remember the story of Cinderella? I don't remember her flying rockets, do you? It looks like interstellar Cinderella is not so interested in dreaming about a prince. She's dreaming about fixing fancy rockets. She fixed the robot dishwashers and zoom brooms in her care. But late at night, she snuck away to study ship repair. One day, her wicked stepsisters came dashing in excited. The Prince's Royal Space Parade. Our family's invited. I wish that you could come, my dear. Alas, no room. Although, why don't you fix that broken ship and fly it to the show? My toolbox, Cinderella cried. We're stranded here, I guess. Oh no, friends, they took her toolbox. What will happen next? How will she get to the Royal Space Parade? But Murgatroyd the mouse sent out a cosmic SOS. Hmm, who do you think Murgatroyd the mouse asked to come help them? Hmm, who comes to help Cinderella in the original story? Hmm. I'm here, your fairy god robot. I'll make you brand new tools. You'll need a spacesuit too, of course. Atomic blue with jewels. <gasps> here comes the fairy god robot instead of the fairy godmother to give Cinderella new tools to fix her ship. This power gem will speed your ship across the starry sky. It only lasts till midnight. After that, your ship won't fly. Oh, thank you, Cinderella said. She quickly fixed the rocket. Then she tucked the sonic socket wrench inside her spacesuit pocket. What do you think will happen when Cinderella finally arrives at the space parade and her stepsisters see the cool ship she was able to build? Hmm. To find out, you can check this book out from the library. You can check out a hard copy to take home from the library or you can use your phone, just like I have, to check out a digital copy of the book. I will put a link to both in the description down below. I wonder what would happen if we flew to the moon. Let's try with this song. It's called Zoom, 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 We're Going to the Moon. Can you get your hands ready to zoom? Let's go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Let's climb aboard our rocket. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Let's count down to the blast off, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! It's time to write. You can grab a writing utensil and follow along with me as we write this robotic word. Oh, I wonder what today's word is. Let's start at the beginning with our capital letter. It's a B. A B makes a B sound, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see, what's this next letter? The lowercase letter here? E. Uh, uh, e. Oh, there are two E's. Hmm, what?
what's this last letter? <gasps> P. B E E P. B E P. Beep. That's one of the noises a robot might make, isn't it? Beep. I have a rhyme for you about five noisy robots. Can you get out five fingers and play along with me? Five noisy robots in a big toy shop, shiny and tall with an antenna on top. Along came a girl with a penny one day. She bought one robot and took it away. How many are left if she bought one? Let's count. One, two, three, four. We have four robots left. Let's do our rhyme again with four robots. Four noisy robots in a big toy shop, shiny and tall with an antenna on top. Along came a boy with a penny one day. He bought one robot and took it away. How many are left? Hmm. We had four. The boy bought one robot. There are one, two, three robots left. Let's try it again with three robots. Three noisy robots in a big toy shop, shiny and tall with an antenna on top. Along came a girl with a penny one day. She bought one robot and took it away. Now there are one, two robots left. Two noisy robots in a big toy shop, shiny and tall with an antenna on top. Along came a boy with a penny one day. He bought a robot and took it away. And now there's only one robot left. Let's do the song one more time. One noisy robot in a big toy shop, shiny and tall with an antenna on top. Along came a family with a penny one day. They bought that last robot and took him home to play. The end. No robots left. Friends, let's pretend to be robots together. Can you do this with me? I am a robot. Clang, clang. Let's see if we can do that together. Stand up and follow along. Let's do it. Ready? I am a robot. Clang, clang. What about this? Can you go? I am a robot. Beep, beep. Can you do that with me? I am a robot. Beep, beep. What about I am a robot. Zoop. Try that one. Ready? I am a robot. Zoop. Last one. I am a robot. Crash. <gasps> Did you fall all the way down to the floor? Oh my goodness. What a crash. But that was a pretty good job being a robot. Good job, friends. It's time for some yes or no trivia. Today, since we're learning about robots, I thought it would be more fun to call it affirmative and negative trivia. Affirmative is a word that means yes, and negative is a word that means no. And I kind of imagine that they are the words that a robot might use to say yes and no. So how our affirmative and negative trivia works is I'm going to tell you a sentence and then you tell me whether you think affirmative, that sentence is correct, or negative, no, that is not a correct sentence. Here we go. So my first question is, are robots able to make decisions for themselves? Hmm. Do you think affirmative? Robots can make decisions for themselves, or negative, robots cannot make decisions for themselves. Hmm, what do you think? The answer is negative. Robots cannot think for themselves. They're programmed by people to do the things that we need them to do, but they don't think independently. Second question, have robots been to Mars? Hmm, I don't know. That's a long way away. Do you think there are any robots that have been to Mars? Hmm. The answer is affirmative. 
Yes, robots have been to Mars. Mars is a sort of difficult place to live if you're a human, so scientists sent robots to take pictures and collect information and send it back to the scientists so we could learn more about Mars. Last question, are robots always big and never small? Hmm, I don't know, have you ever seen a tiny robot? The answer is negative. Robots are not always big. Sometimes they are very teeny tiny. The smallest robots are called nanorobots. They're very teeny tiny, so small you can barely see them. Well, friends, we've come to the end of our program for today. Will you join me in singing the goodbye song? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.